All right, and now let's go into question number nine. All right, they say to us, refer to the figure showing the parabola given by f of x is 4 minus x squared over 4 between 0 to 4. They say d is the point x and 0. And they say db is parallel to the y-axis. So this is a vertical line over here, right? Uh, with b on the graph of f, right? Now they say to us, write down the coordinates of uh, b in terms of x. So if this is a vertical line, it means if this d here is x, that means the x value at b is also x. But remember, the y value is on the graph, the purple graph, right? f of x. So that means the y value would be 4 minus x squared over 4. So those are the coordinates of b. It will be x and 4 minus x squared over 4. So whatever the expression of B was, we would have just substituted, um, you know, whatever the value of, uh, um, you know, the X value at D at that point just to get the Y value. Right. So they say show that the area of uh, a triangle OBD is given by that expression. Now, remember, so this is a vertical line that is BD. And this is a horizontal line. And we know that the area of a triangle, they called it A, right, is always equal to half base times perpendicular height. So in this case, our base is OD. And the distance there is X. So that would be X multiplied by h, the height there. And so if you take the perpendicular height, it will actually be uh, that uh, value there, 4 minus x squared over 4 minus 0, because the height at that point there is 0, right? So this will be simply 4 minus x squared over 4, right, minus 0. And so half of x uh, in this case will be 2x, right? And half of x multiplied by x squared over 4, you'll see that this will give us actually, uh, and I see they made a mistake there. They just wrote it as x squared over 8. Uh, it should be x cubed. So this is minus x cubed over 8. So that's the correct value of it. Okay. Um, yeah. So now let's go to the next question. They say determine how far D should be uh, from O in order that the area of OBD is as large as possible. So we've got an expression for the area in terms of X. So to maximize that area, we simply take the derivative and make it equal to 0. So this would be 2 minus, so this is 3 over 8 x squared, all right? And we know this is equal to 0. All right, let's try and solve as much as we possibly can. All right, I'm going to uh, do it on the other side. So this would be negative 3 over 8 x squared is equal to, now note, this is simply going to be negative 2 on the other side. So what do I do? Multiply by the inverse, so multiply by 8 over 3. But what I do on the left, I do on the right, multiply by negative 8 over 3. So x squared is equal to a negative, I mean, uh, rather a positive 16 over 3. 
Now we can take the square root of on both sides. So x would actually be equal to, uh, now we know we're going to have plus or minus, but remember we on the positive side here. So that would be the square root of 16 over three, right? So in that case, uh, square root of 16 is four. So this is four over root three. That's the value of x. That is the distance OD, right? Because that just represents the X value. Right. I hope that we got that, ladies and gents. Uh, so the value of OD should be 4 over root 3. Nothing wrong if you... Uh, yeah, that's 4 over root 3 units. Okay. Right. Let's go on to the next question.